In this video, we're going to look at this question, which says, for a planet of mass m, capital M, and radius r, the escape velocity of the body of mass m on the surface of the planet is given by d is equal to square root of 2 gm over r, where j is the universal gravitational constant given by j is equal to f r squared over capital M and small m. F is equal to gravitational force between the planet and the body. Show that the equation is dimensionally consistent. So this is the equation that we're going to handle in this video, where the minimum velocity that is required for a body to escape the gravitational field of the Earth is given by this. That is, the, that is simply the definition of the escape velocity, the minimum velocity that is required to launch a body into, uh, into space as it escapes the gravitational, uh, in order for it to uh, uh, accept the gravitational uh, field. So this is uh, how we are going to proceed. We know that uh, velocity, okay, perhaps, okay. We know that velocity, in terms of units, it is meters per second. And in terms of dimensions, it is L over L over t, which is L t to the power negative one. So this is one and the same. Uh, this one and this form, it is one and the same. It is just a transformation when we follow the laws of indices. Now, we are told to show that this equation is dimensionally consistent. So let me just erase uh, this part, just the top one. Okay, so we are given this equation to say v is equal to square root of. So here we have 2g. So if we plug in, if we get this, where there is g, we put fr squared over um, m. Then, okay, this is just uh, g. Then we multiply by what is given here, we have m over r here. So from this, we are able to see that this and this can cancel from this point. Then this also can cancel with a square this side. So from this, we are going to proceed as follows. Here we have um, fr over m. And from this point, we know that f is equal to mass. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. So force is equal to ma. So if we plug in this again into this, we're going to have v is equal to square root of ma times r over m. So this one, we are able to see that this and this will also cancel and square root of ar. Where this is the acceleration and this is the radius. Acceleration, radius. But acceleration, we know that in terms of units, it is meters per second squared. So from this, in, uh, then in terms of uh, dimensions, it is L over T squared, which is the same as L like this. And then for L, for R, this is radius, this is just length. R, it is length in meters, which is given by L. In terms of dimension. So from this, if we plug in this, we're going to have L times L is L squared T negative 2 squared. This is simply the same as L squared, okay, half. So distributing through the, the power, we have L 2 times half, 1 over 2. Then this one, t to the power negative 2 times 1 over 2. So 2 and the 2 will cancel, 2 and the 2 will cancel. And what we're going to have is L to the power negative. What we're going to have is L, then t to the power negative 1. And the units for velocity, 
velocity is equal to meters based on the terms of dimensions L over T L like this. So this one on the left, left hand side must be equal to right hand side. So the units for velocity, the dimensions for velocity we have this one. And from the right, what we found was L T to the power negative one. So since the left and the right sides have the same dimensions, it means escape velocity, the equation for escape velocity is dimensionally consistent. Thank you so much for